Okay, guys, welcome back to another video. Um, if you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Um, make sure you guys go ahead, like, and share, and subscribe this, to this video. Um, I'm doing a whole Canva um, series where I'm just strictly in Canva showing you how I design different things, um, the different features. Uh, if there's anything specific you guys want me to do a video on, please comment down below and let me know. Um, but for today, we're going to go ahead and we're going to design this journal. Um, now, journals are pretty simple. Um, you got one page and then you just print this off 50 times, 100 times, however many pages you want to go into your journal. Um, so this is a little bit easier than, a, um, well, a lot easier than a planner. Um, so yeah, we're just going to go ahead and design this journal today. Um, I'm going to go into detail where I got every, all the images from, how to layer them, and everything like that. So if, that, if that's something you're interested in learning how to do, go ahead and stick around. Okay, hey guys, so um, just like the other videos, we're going to get started on a blank canvas here. I do pretty much design from blank canvases. Um, I really don't use the templates that come in the Canva um, platform. Um, I'm using the Canva Pro, um, but the there is a free version that you could follow along um, with. All of the images that I'm using today, I purchased. They're not on the Canva platform. I purchased them from Etsy. Um, the only thing I'm using, I think, is like a line, and that is available on the free version. Um, so we'll get started with the cover page. Uh, the background is one I uploaded. Um, this is one that I purchased from Feathers of Style on Etsy. Um, I absolutely love that Etsy shop. That's pretty much where I get almost everything. I mean, she just, she has so, so many different things and they're all just quality, quality, quality images. I love them. Um, love her shop. Feathers of Style on Etsy. That's pretty much where I get everything. Um, so yeah, we're going to start with this background. Um, and then we are going to add our books here. Now the, the girl boss images came as a package. Um, I think there was like 20 different images in the package that I got. So you got these books, um, you got two of these, um, the text, the girl boss text. One was a cursive writing, this one, and then one was like a, a serif writing. Um, you got this iPad. Um, there was like three different colored coffee cups that were in that package. I think some planners. Um, this stack of books was plain. It didn't have the words on it. It was like 20 different um, images in that package for like $10. Um, so that's where I got the these images from. Um, so yeah, we got our books here down in the corner. We're gonna get our girl, which I used her. And we're just going to layer. Now, you see how she's on top of the books? I want the books to be over her coat. So we're going to click the girl. You're gonna click position and you're gonna click backward. Position backward. Okay, so now you see She's under the books. Okay, and then you're gonna take your girl boss writing here, and you're just going to layer it until it's how you like it. Okay, and then you see how the girl boss is on top of her? I want her on top of the girl boss, so we're gonna position backward, do it again. Okay, now she's on top. And we're just gonna make that a little bit smaller. And you're just gonna, you know, keep layering, keep playing with it until it's how you like it, okay? And there's your cover literally four images your background this image the girl and the girl boss image four images that's it just layered 
Super easy. All right, now this next page is going to be the back side of this page, which is the this journal belongs to page. So we're gonna use the same background. You're gonna add your text. This journal belongs to, and we're gonna change that to a pretty writing. I like this one. This is a text that I uploaded from whatthefont.com. It's called Stone Kids. I use this, this uh, writing a lot. This is one of my favorites. And then we're going to add our line here for them to um, write their name. So you're going to go to Elements. And uh, I'll clear that out for you. You're going to go to Elements in the search bar up here. You're going to click Line. Or, I'm sorry, you're going to type Line. Um, and then we're going to use this first one. So if you see here, it comes up free. So this is available on the free version. Um, most of a lot of these are once you start going down, that's when you kind of start getting in, into the pro lines. Like this one is available on pro. Um, but this this is the line we're going to use and it is available on the free version if um, that is the one that you're on. All right, and we're just going to add our line here for them to be able to write their name. And then I added the girl boss text from the cover again, just so, you know, I don't know. It's not a lot of blank space here. You can omit this if you want, however you want to do it. All right. So now you have your cover, and this is going to be the back of the cover. All right, and then we're going to add a new page here. Now, this is the page with the lines where they're going to start writing. So you don't want this background, so you're just going to hit delete. And now you're back to your blank canvas. Um, so we're going to add our image up in the corner here. You can put this up in this corner, you can put it down here in this corner, however you wanna do it. We're gonna get this up in this corner how we like it. I think that's a little big. Okay, and then we're gonna add our lines. We're gonna go back to elements and you're gonna get the same line that you used. We're gonna turn it black. Now, this line is kind of thick. Um, if you added the lines when they're this thick, you're going to not have that many lines. So to make it skinnier, what you're going to do is you're going to make it smaller first. The smaller you make it, the thinner it's going to be. And then you see how my cursor is diagonal? You want to just slightly move it up until it's pointing left and right. And then you're going to click and drag it out. Same thing over here. Cursor is diagonal. You want to you want to make sure your cursor is going left and right. Click and drag. Okay, and now you got your skinny lines. And then um, once you do it once, you don't have to do it again because you just click it and duplicate. And then I don't know if you guys can see that blue box at the top of the blue box. There's a dotted pink line. That dotted pink line that pops up is letting you know they're evenly spaced. So you're going to click, you're going to duplicate, and then you're going to move it down until you see that dotted pink line at the top of that blue box, letting you know that it's evenly spaced. Okay, and then you're just going to do this for the whole page. Click, duplicate, and drag. Duplicate, drag. That's all you're doing. And the good thing about journals, once you do this one page, you don't have to do this again because you can either duplicate the page or you can just download the one page. And then when you go to print, you just print 50 copies or 100 copies or however many 
pages you want in your journal. So you only have to do this once. So that that to me is what makes journals way easier than planners. Planners, every page is different. So it takes more time. All right, and you're just gonna do this all the way down to the bottom of the page like that. Okay, and then for your shorter lines, um, you're just gonna duplicate it and you're gonna drag it up. I'm gonna make this image just a little bit bigger so there's not that space like that. Okay, you're gonna duplicate it. You're gonna drag it up and then you're gonna make sure this is positioned backward. So you want it behind that. You can't really see it on the black part, but you will on the pink part. You're gonna duplicate, drag it up, and then you know you can see it on the picture now. So you just wanna position it backward so that it's behind the image. And then you can see it coming out over here. So just click it and drag it over so that it's hiding behind that picture. Okay, click it, duplicate it, drag it up. And then you're gonna position it backward. So now it's behind the picture. And position it backward so it is behind the picture. Okay, and there you have your journal page. Um, and then I think I added a girl in the background. So we're just gonna get the same girl from the cover. You're gonna make her the length of the page. And then you're gonna position her to back. So she's all the way in the back now. And then you're just gonna make her trans a little bit more transparent. So this grid here is the transparency button. You can make her darker or lighter. I, I like my girls around around 50. Normally what I've, I've noticed is that um, when I go to print, so on here, it may look like it's it might be a little too dark, like she needs to be more transparent. But I've noticed that whenever I go to print, um, it's it doesn't come out as dark on my actual page after I printed it as it looks on here. So um, like the very first journal I ever printed, I made her lighter because I felt like, okay, if somebody's gonna write on top of that, they may not be able to see their their pen. Um, so I made her like more transparent, like I think she was like this, like 30. So I'm like, okay, that's good. But then when I went to print it, you could barely see her at all. Um, so I noticed that you gotta make this, you have, you have to make her a little bit more transparent. I mean, more, I'm sorry, less transparent on the computer because when you go to print, um, it always prints lighter. It's going to it's going to look like so. Right now, I have her on fifty, but when I go to print, she's actually going to look like this on the page. But if I put it at thirty here, when I print, she's gonna look like this on the page. So I always try to print around 50, 50 or 60, depending on how um, vibrant the image is. Okay, and then, like I said, you're either gonna duplicate, I'm sorry, not add a page. You're either going to copy, this is copy page, either you're gonna copy the page 50 times or you can just leave the one and then you can print it, print off 100 copies. Um, if you want to change this picture and have a different picture on each page, Instead of doing each page brand new, you would just go up here to copy page and you can click on this at the image, delete that. And let's say you wanted to add this iPad in the corner. You would just add it where the other image was instead of, you know what I'm saying? Instead of making a whole brand new page for just this corner picture, you can just delete that picture. Or if you want to add a different girl, you can delete her 
add her, you know, position to back and do the exact same thing. So you don't have to do the, these lines are kind of annoying. So you don't have to do those lines over and over and over. Okay. All right, and that is how you design a journal. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you have any questions, um, oh, the dimensions, um, I had a couple questions on previous videos. The dimensions for this is eight and a half by 11 inches. I'm not using pixels on this because um, I am gonna print this off and bind it. Um, so I'm using inches and it's eight and a half by 11. So when I go to download it, um, it's automatically going to be the size that I need it to be. Um, this one I am selling. Uh, so I do, I print, I bind, um, I use a cinch machine to bind, um, for the covers, um, it really depends on the style or the feel that I'm going for. For my personal journals, the ones that I like to use, I like to print them on cardstock and then laminate them. I don't like that paper feel, um, but if you want a, the chipboard, I do use chipboard sometimes if my clients or customers don't mind the paper feel and they want a thicker cover, I'll print this off on sticker paper and then put it on a white chipboard. Um, you can't laminate chipboard. To my knowledge, I've tried using my lamination machine to um, laminate the chipboard, but it doesn't fit. So if you know how to laminate the chipboard, like at home, please let me know. Um, but yeah, I like, I like to print on cardstock and then laminate it. Some of my customers like the chipboard. Um, it's just preference. Um, so, but if you guys want to see a video on how I bind mine using the cinch, let me know and I can, um, I can do that as well for you guys. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you guys, uh, like and subscribe. Any questions, let me know. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe.